I decided to make a video about these lithium iron phosphate batteries from A123 systems. Not sure if these are genuine batteries or some fake batteries, but they are very good, so it doesn't really matter. I discharged one battery using a Peltier element that it's in between the two aluminum heatsink and I use an amp meter and a voltmeter so you can see the current and the voltage during discharge. It started at about 5 amps but the current will drop because the Peltier element once it will start to build a temperature difference it will not need as much current as uh, it needed at start. I also measured the temperature of the battery, but uh, it didn't exceed more than 4 or 5 degrees Celsius above the ambient temperature. I don't know if the battery was fully charged, I had charged the battery a couple of months ago, but as you can see the discharge down to 2.7 volt took about 15-16 minutes. Now I am charging the battery using an adjustable power supply. I set the voltage at 3.5 and the current limit at 3 amps. It took about 25 minutes to fully charge the battery. I usually charge this battery at 3.55 volt, but in order to speed up the charge, I, I increase the voltage to 3.6 volt. 
For this type of battery you are not allowed to exceed 3.6 volt. So if you have more of this connected in series, you will need a kind of electronic monitoring system or management system in order to prevent this from happening. You can find more about this battery management system if you search on the internet for BMS, these are the initial from battery management system. During charging the battery did not exceed more than 5 or 6 degrees Celsius. I made the larger battery using 12 of these small cells. I used 3 in parallel and 4 of these groups in series for a 12.8 volt output and 3.3 amp hour capacity. I have the three small wires so that I could have access to each group of batteries and as you can see before charging this battery I have 3.27 volt on each group. I do not have a BMS so I need to manually check the voltage during charging and discharging of this battery. Fully charging this larger battery at 3 amps will take a little bit more than one hour. I left the fun part for the end of this video and I will show you what this larger battery it's a uh, capable of. I will use a 750 watt power inverter. An amp meter able to measure up to 400 amps. A multimeter with a large display to measure the voltage. Two 100 watt incandescent light bulbs. And one hair dryer with 1600 watt on uh, high and 400 watt on low. As you can see it's able to provide 200 watt of power for the light bulbs. But when I switch the hair dryer on on low 400 watt then the voltage will drop under 10.5 volts and the inverter will switch off. 
Now when I switch the hair dryer on high, 1600 watt, the current protection will switch off the inverter. Now if I remove the light bulbs, the hair dryer on low will be no problem, 400 watt will work with no problem. But on high of course the current protection will uh, deactivate the inverter. Now I try with only one 100 watt light bulb and the hair dryer on low and it will work for some time but then the voltage on the battery will drop under 10.5 and the inverter will deactivate. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them.